uh, when the decisions are made about putting, bringing out the officers on bicycles versus bringing them out on motorcycles or cars, as, can you give us any insight well, into how that decision is made? Yeah, I, I'm not sure we got caught unaware last year, so we, didn't, so we had to bring resources in at the last minute, and sometimes that's after situations are occurring, so we have a different response. In this case, we were able to get together with the organizers ahead of time, so they worked with us, so we knew kind of what to expect and how many people, and so we deployed um, as a result of that. Um, the bikes are really valuable, but they take a little bit more effort to get someplace, so I don't know if last year we didn't have the opportunity to move them in I before see. the situations got out of hand or, or exactly what took place. But this year we were able to, you know, put it into our deployment. We, we need X amount of officers for this, we need this many on bikes, we need this many on motorcycles, we need this many in black and whites, we need this many in reserves. So we had a plan, and, and right. it went, so it works out better for everyone. Last year there were equine units stationed, uh, sort of in a staging area on the other end of campus. Were they called out this year as we well? We actually have them standing by as well, just in case, um, because they're a valuable resource as well. So we tried to have everything available just in case, and, and again, to just make sure that, that they were able to get from point A to point B in a, a safe manner. I also noticed that uh, when I approach an officer to ask a question, they, they, don't, they don't say anything. Uh, Today that happened? Uh, yes, yes. Oh. And is, is that, is that? Well, unfortunately there are still those that are a little nervous about the camera. Um, we encourage the officers, we, we tell everybody, we are all public information officers. Everybody can speak to the, to the reporter or to the media. So we're trying to break that down, but it's, it's going to take a little bit of time. Right, Some I'm officers sure. are still a little apprehensive, they're not sure if that's going to be used against them. And, you know, sometimes things get twisted, so they're not real comfortable with the media a lot of times. So, but we're working on that. We've come a long way. I think most people, I know the, the folks that I walked with, you know, we were all greeting the demonstrators and, and trying to interact as much as we could. So, and there was no one in your vest last year, so it's nice, it's nice to hear. Right. And again, it was because we were able to pre plan. And, uh, yeah. So, as part of the planning, did you know the students were going to sit down in that intersection and a certain amount of time was set for that? We had a plan that you know the, the route that they were going to take, and that they may end up doing that. And we just wanted to make sure that we had enough resources to shut down the street so that they could do that safely. Okay. And it worked. So it seems like it was a success for everyone. I think so. You know, I, I hope they they thought so, and uh, because I think from a police perspective, it certainly was. But any uh, total, how many officers were brought out for this? You know, we never like to divulge our operations, um, the details of the operation. Um, officer safety issue for a reason. So, um, but we felt like we deployed enough to handle any situation that would have arose today.